we haven't had much snow this November, but the weather is still making its presence known to drivers. Between fog and the cold air, drivers need to be on their guard for the morning and evening commutes. Local News 8's Connor Knuckles is live with a look at what drivers can expect this morning and some tips to keep you safe. Good morning, Connor. Yes, good morning, Kaylee, Dylan. You know, it, it is an understatement to say that it is cold out here. Um, I'm already losing some feeling in my toes, as a matter of fact. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a chilly one for sure. You're going to want to make sure that you are wearing a coat because it's not going to be a warm walk to school, that's for sure. We are in the, in the tweens right now, and we are under an air stagnation advisory this morning. Now, I'm sure a lot of people out there are wondering, now, what does that mean? Now, uh, why, why was this issued? Well, basically, it's issued when we see major buildups of air pollution, smoke, or dust near the ground for a period of time. Now, this usually results from a stagnant high-pressure system with weak winds being unable to bring in some fresh air that we need. Now, here's a map where it can be felt this morning. This is affecting the entire Snake River Plain. It can be felt all the way from the Arco Mud Lake region, Rexburg, Pocatello, and into the Bear Lake region region as well. Now this advisory is in effect until Thursday. Now the fog is also a concern for drivers on their way to work this morning. Now this video we got earlier uh, is from Pocatello and trip, you could see just the fog is super thick. You definitely want to slow down if you're driving out in Pocatello this morning. AAA Idaho has a few tips on how to navigate through these kinds of conditions and Matt Condy with AAA says the best thing to do is to use emergency lights and stick to what you know. Unfortunately, when you're in a big chain of people traveling down a freeway, it only takes one event to trigger this chain reaction. And so, again, your following distance needs to be, instead of three seconds, it probably needs to be six or nine. Now, he also says that it's important not to speed or panic while driving uh, through this thick fog. And if you don't feel comfortable, just pull over until the visibility improves. And that way, you can keep you yourself safe and others as well. Uh, right now, we don't have a lot of fog in Idaho Falls right now. So the driving conditions right now near downtown, pretty solid. But I'm going to be traveling south to Pocatello to get a first-hand look into what this fog is looking like later in, in the 630. So be sure to tune in then. But right now, back to you, Dylan and Kaylee.